Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of It Takes Grit. Okay guys, today we are talking about it takes not giving a beep, okay, you know what that word means, about anybody else or judgment. Because I feel that a lot of us really take on what other people say and it tends to dictate your life. So. Penny and I today are going to give you seven steps or maybe seven areas of your life where you can just take out that judgment. You're going to feel much lighter and fluffier. So I have just got back from an amazing trip. I was in Monaco, uh, which is in the south of France. Guys, if you ever get a chance to go down there, in fact, you do have a chance because you have a choice, get down there. It is absolutely stunning. Now, I was going with 20 people, um, one person who I knew, one person that I maybe knew like 3% because we've been interviewed on a panel together, but the rest of the people I had no idea who they were and I felt as if I was going in like being judged so I understand how you guys feel when you're in a new situation or you know you're, you're coming around new people it's like oh, are they gonna like me like how am I gonna be like what what if I do something wrong what if I say the wrong thing and I used to really get so in my head about being judged by other people and over the last couple of years it's been so exhausting to really take on what other people think of you apart from a little bit of good feedback that's okay we're going to talk about that um but like spending my time and energy worrying so much about what other people think really was starting to get to me and I take things so personally like that was my biggest thing like I would I would like have anxiety, I would be like hyperventilating, I would feel sick on my stomach, I wouldn't be able to sleep. So I've definitely been in a place where I felt super judged. So we're gonna start off um, with, yeah, just a little recap of where I've been. So yep, I was over in Monaco uh, for a mastermind. It was more like a, an amazing like adventure where I get to like meet other people. I got back yesterday. I spent 36 hours in England where I got to see a bunch of my UK um, health coaches. I did a big training for like over 70 people. Um, and then I spent the day with my best friend. Um, so it was amazing. And I'm so grateful that I was able to travel and just like see my mom. I've had my dad over, he's just retired. Uh, I took him to Hawaii, so I think I went to like five countries, or I traveled to five different places in June. In July, I'm just going to New Orleans, I say just, I'm going to New Orleans, and then August, I don't even have anything planned. The rest of the year looks pretty crazy. Um, but that's where I'm at, and I just want to say, you guys who are part of the Burn community, that Facebook group is popping off. Like, it is so much fun to see you guys posting your workout pictures, like just supporting one another. So if you are one of those people who are part of the Burn app, uh, you can go to ICanFeelTheBurn.com, and you'll get seven days free trial, you'll get added into our Facebook group. Then I just wanted to give you guys a special shout out to say that I'm really grateful that you're all such an amazing community and you're helping each other. So I'm gonna give you a special shout out on the podcast today okay so first thing are you not doing things because you are worried about other people's judgment so I somebody asked me this question the other day they were like well, how do you deal with negativity and I used to get so wound up I used to get so upset when people would say nasty things about me but when I realized that it wasn't true and that what I was doing was aligning with my beliefs, that negativity didn't really have any effect on me. It was like, well, you're saying that, but I don't agree with you. So if you are so secure and you really know that what you're doing is aligned with your values, which is, you know, what you believe in, then someone's negativity, it doesn't matter, it's just their opinion, and you're not gonna change how you feel just because there's one other person or two other people who might disagree with you. So that's the thing with me, is that if you're not doing things because you're worried about other people's judgment, you need to look inside yourself and be like, wow, like, is what I'm doing really aligned? Am I really focused on, like, this is what I believe in? Like, I'm not gonna change what I'm doing right now because someone gives me negativity. Like, that is just the craziest thing. I wouldn't do it because it doesn't align with my goals. So when you're dealing with negativity, just think, well, do you wanna be like that person? Like, and also like negative people are just gonna be negative about absolutely everything. So if you're doing something new, you're doing something outside the box, you're doing something a little bit different, you're gonna have to expect negativity. That's just because some people are just negative and somebody who's more successful than you is never gonna give you negativity. Let's just be clear on that. I also have decided that this month or in the month of June, I went pescatarian. So I cut out anything like land animals with legs and I was actually, and I 
I actually ate chicken accidentally by twice, uh, twice, but right at the beginning of the month. But I got through the whole month. I was like, wow, this is this is actually really easy. I'm not missing um, that kind of food, and it's not anything to do with diet. It's purely just an animal thing. Um, so I totally understand people eating protein and eating chicken and steak or whatever. There's no judgment. And there's no negativity around that. I don't care. This is just for me. But one thing that I really realized is that so a, a, a reason that I wasn't doing it before I actually decided to was I was more worried about being a burden on other people. I was worried about like Corey and I like normally like split meals when we go out for dinner. And I was like, wow, like we're not going to be able to do that. Like, is he going to be okay with that? Like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm more worried about, like, if Corey's going to be mad that I'm going to not want to swap meals or maybe I'll go to a family function and it's like, oh, like, oh, now Rebecca, like, doesn't eat meat. Like, oh, that's, like, annoying. Like, that is honestly where my mindset was at. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, why do I even give a freaking beep about if somebody else, like, is pissed at me because I don't want to eat meat? Like, I don't really care. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, and so that's the same thing with everything. Like if, if you want to do something and other people are telling you no, well, like that's just, that's ridiculous. You've got to do what you want to do. And it was great when I went to see my best friend, she was like, oh, you're not eating anything with legs. No problem. Like, let's pick this off the menu. And I'm like, wow, like people actually do listen and it's okay. And you're not being a burden on other people. And if you are being a burden, if, well, if, you, if people feel that you're being a burden, like they're just not very nice people. And if someone's like, oh God, like we can't even like split anything now because like you now like don't eat meat, then like what type of person is that anyway? Like, do you even want to be friends with them? So that was one big thing for me that I had to get over. And now I've made that decision. It's like, well, this is aligned with me and my goals. So that's the first thing. Number two, um, are you not being like yourself, you're like your full self because you're worried about what other people's perceptions of you are? Like, oh, you're not being perfect. Like, oh, you're being too silly. Or, you know, you're, you know, maybe you're, you're going out with friends and you're worried about like you going kind of crazy or like you just being yourself. It's like everyone, they're either going to, people are going to love you or they're not going to like you that much or maybe they just like, you're not that cup of tea. But if you are not being like yourself, you are not going to attract the people that want to be like you. So on this trip that I went on, I really was unapologetically myself. I'm like, I'm too old to try and be perfect because that doesn't exist. I'm too old to like try and fit the mold of what other people th think that I should be. And it was amazing because everybody around me was like me. Like we went out one night and we danced and like we went crazy and we had fun. And I was like, wow, like these are my people because I'm being myself. And so if you're not being yourself, you're going to start to attract people who are not like you and you're going to end up with a tribe of people or a group of friends who are like, you don't even want to be friends with because you're like, these are not my people at all. So you want to attract your tribe and you actually want to disattract the people that aren't like you or on the same wavelength. So that's okay. Okay. It is okay to, you know, just find the people that are like you and then the people that aren't like you, it's okay. You're not going to be friends with everybody. Okay. Um, okay, number three, judgment. Whew, I like this one. Um, okay, so, judgment. Are you worried about being judged? Now, so many people have got their own stuff going on. The last thing that they're even worried about is, is you. The last thing they're worried about is, like, what you did or what you said, um, and it really just, like, doesn't make a difference to their day. It's, like, so far down on their totem pole. But if you are out there judging people, if you are out there saying things about other people, you're going to feel like people are judging you even more because that's what you're projecting. So if you stop judging people, you're going to feel less judged yourself. And at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have like less things to worry about. People have got so many things that they're worrying about, like left, right and center, that your problems and your issues are like literally the last thing on their plate. This leads into the next one perfectly. So if you're worried about what someone's like thinking of you and you get like so in your head, you might not even be friends with this person in three months time. Isn't that crazy? Like you're taking all of this advice and maybe this person's being negative to you and then you end up actually taking on their advice. You end up like not doing the thing that you love because they have told you not to do it, because they have judged you, because they've given you negativity. And then three months later, they just bugger off. Three months later, like they're out of your life and you've missed all these opportunities. You haven't been yourself only because 
you decided to listen to that person. So when it comes to you know, having that judgment of other people, like let that go because this person might not be in your life forever. And then you spend all of this time and this energy sucking in all of this information that this person's given you and boom, just like that, they disappeared. So what is even the point of listening to somebody's negativity or listening to someone's ideas if it doesn't align with you, if you don't feel comfortable with it, Plus, you're never going to have the life that you want if you're just listening to what other people think. And two, then they're just going to disappear anyway. So remember, why are you even listening to somebody? Because they might not be in your life forever. Okay? Super important fact there. Hey, Penny? Yeah, super important. Okay. Someone else's opinion is also none of your business. We've kind of like touched upon this that, you know, when you're being judged, you, that person is often really judging themselves. And if they're being negative, it can often be a reflection of themselves. Um, and if you're judging people, if you're out there judging, like you're probably a little bit unhappy or a little bit insecure. Because when you really feel amazing and you come to that place where you're super happy within yourself, you don't judge other people. Because you don't have the time to do it, you know that it's not necessary, and it's not going to improve your growth. It's like gossip. Like gossip is just like judging other people. It's like not something that you want to be part of, that you want to align with, that you want to get involved with. Like gossip is just as bad as like judging somebody. So somebody else's opinion is actually none of your business because you're not even necessarily going to be able to change their opinion and it doesn't matter. You want to find those people that are your tribe, that align with you, attracting those people and disattracting the people that you don't want. So someone else's opinion is none of your business. And if I think, oh, this person thinks this of me, or like, why did I say that? Or they're going to judge me for this. I'm going to be like, okay, no problem. If that's what you think and that's what you feel, whatever. I know in my heart of hearts that I'm a good person and that what I'm doing is aligned with my goals. Think about if you are becoming the person that you want to be, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. In their opinion is just none of your business. It really doesn't matter. Okay. And it's your life. Number six. It's your life. It's not their life. So many people go through life like basically running it through somebody else's eyes, through somebody else's vision, being so worried about what other people think that they end up morphing into this thing that they don't even want to be. Like, that's crazy. You're going to end up being someone you did not set out to be, someone that you don't want to be, just because you are so worried about what you think other people think of you. Because this might not even be true. You might have all of this stuff in your head. You know, we overanalyze text messages and emails and what people do on social media and their behavior. And it really all just stems from us being so concerned about what other people are thinking about us. And it doesn't matter. It takes not giving a freaking beep about what other people think of you. As long as you're being a good person, you're aligned with your goals. And yes, we all mess up. We all have days, but that doesn't matter. And I've made so many mistakes. Those mistakes don't define me. If you've made a ton of mistakes in your life, it doesn't matter. The right people will forgive you and forget about it and be there for you. Like, that's just how good friends are. That's how positive people are. That's how people who uplift you. So remember that you're always running your life. So the decisions of other people doesn't need to affect what you do and who you are, okay? When you get that so clear in your head, guys, that if you are not doing something that you absolutely want to just like break free and you just want to do and you're so worried about what other people think, you're crazy because those people aren't even that bothered about what you really do. At the end of the day, if they just decide to never speak to you again, but yet you get to do what you want to do, isn't that so much better? Yes! I'm telling you, that is so much better. Someone else's opinion and you not doing something is much better than, it's, it's so much worse than you just doing it. So think about that today. Write the things down that you want to do. Like what is it that you want to accomplish? And if you took all of those people away, if you took people's opinions away, if you took out all those negative people away, would you be doing it? And the answer is yes. So the only thing right now that is holding you back from doing what you want to do, from being who you want to be, is literally yourself. 
because you are allowing other people to dictate how your life is and they don't even care that much. They really don't. I don't really care that much about what somebody else does. Like, I'll get over it. And it's not even for my place to judge what they do. Think about that today, guys. Write down the things that you want to achieve. Cut out all of the people that you think might be negative or you're worried about people's judgment and just do it anyway. Okay, number seven. Are you just overthinking it all? The answer is probably yes. Are you thinking so much about what other people are thinking of you that you're not doing what you are, your heart and what your, what you, your purpose? This is you, you have a purpose, everybody has a purpose and you know, the, if you go to the grave with all of these ideas and never actually done the work, that's such a waste and most of the time it's because we're so worried about the judgement of other people and you are overthinking it. People don't care as much as you think they care about what you're really doing. They might try and make a comment, they might try and make a dig, but at the end of the day, like if they really want to waste a bunch of energy on it, they would just try even hard. Like it's just not even worth it, right? Take away the judgment of other people. You're going to feel less judged yourself and know that as long as that you are aligned with what that you want to do, it's fine. And now the last point is, is okay, so sometimes we do want a little bit of feedback. Sometimes, you know, maybe we do something that's, you know, not that great, but it's not about judging. It's about giving someone loving feedback and you don't have to accept that feedback, okay? And you wanna ask somebody first if they want feedback. So, you know, I don't just go, hey, by the way, like how you acted last night, like, you know, whatever. Or like, I didn't really like how you uh, did that in the group chat or you posted this. It's like, hey, can I offer you some feedback? And if someone says no, then you don't give it to them. They're not ready to receive feedback. They don't want it. If someone says yes, say, hey, I totally understand why you did this and this is what I could see from an outsider and I just wanted to give you this feedback to maybe help you from next time. So some feedback is, is okay as long as it's done with love and there is um, an actual game plan and it's like a tangible piece of advice. It's not a judgment. Okay, there's different between judging someone and giving somebody advice on how they can grow and get better. And if you want to give someone feedback, that's the answer, that's the question that you have to ask is, hey, do you want some feedback? If the person's like, no, guys, that's not the time to give the feedback. They might not be ready for that. They might be going through something where they're like, you know what, I know this is how I acted. I didn't act great, but I know it in my head. I'm just going through some stuff and I just don't need any extra, you know, negativity because I'm already feeling like shit myself. Or I'm already feeling, you know, crappy myself. And allow that person to have that space and, and be there for them. So to recap, guys, you know I've gone through a bunch of points here today. It doesn't make any sense to allow somebody else's opinion to dictate your life. It's crazy to think that you would allow somebody else's brain, who's only thinking about you 0.5%, to dictate your 100% of how your life is going to be. So if you want to go out and do something, you go for it. Know that there's going to be negativity. There's going to be some judgment. And as long as you're aligned with what it is that you want to do and you're supported by an incredible community or support system and structure, you are going to be just fine. And I want to give you guys the confidence that all of the right people are going to start to show up when you are being authentically yourself. So it really takes not giving a beep about what other people think of you and what other people's judgments are for you to really live your true authentic self. Guys, I love you so much. I wanna give you that confidence, that strength, that desire, that burning desire inside of you to be able to go out and live your life to the fullest and do exactly what you want. If you love this podcast, it's doing so great because so many people are, are listening to it, so many people are watching it. I encourage you to share it with your friends. Please go leave us a review. Um, I listen to, I read everything, um, and it means so much just to be able to get that feedback and to know that you guys are enjoying it because it motivates me to keep on producing more content. So please share this with a friend. Go and leave a comment um, on the, and leave us a review. Give us five stars. And uh, yeah, give us. It's Alfie, Penny and I all right here in my living room. I love you. Have a great rest of your day. Stay true to yourself and I'll see you on our next episode. Bye guys.